shooting this. This is um, before Love Island, I can't believe it. That's, that was years ago. So much years. But it's cute though. Looking like a Barbie. <laughs> Look at this. Build your own wig. Thank you for putting me in the middle and biggest. <laughs> Why have I not seen this? Well, it's for the moments like this. When it comes to nails, square, almond or stiletto. Oh, this is so hard. Um, stiletto. No, square, square now, square. Liquid or powder foundation? Liquid. Reality show or documentaries? Documentary. Online dating or blind date? Blind date. Sleek bun or a braided ponytail? Sleek, always sleek bun. Yes. Presenter or contestant? Presenter. Mm. You got plans for me and a presenter? Oh yeah, we're already doing that. We're working, we're working. Hopefully we've got our own show coming, so it'll be exciting. Maybe 2023, 2024, but there'll be a lot more presenting of me presenting. What's going on this day? What's that? <laughs> I was in LA with my hairdresser Venna, and do you know what the funniest thing is? I took a picture and his arm was showing and I was like, people are gonna think you are my man, but it's actually my hairdresser. He is just fine. He looks good. Yeah, I'll put it on record. Venna James is my hairdresser. Yes, he looks good, but no, I love him, not in that way. Is Venna single? Venna is single. <laughs> Rosé, that's my nickname. So basically, Rick Ross came in town for his concert and they asked us to do um, a group of us to come and get some content with him. So I filmed my content, but the sound was so bad because everyone was in the room. But I was like, do you know what? Can we just take a, can we just do a story? So when we're doing a story, they took that photo and it just looked really, really good that he even reposted it. And then he followed me on Instagram. So what did you guys talk about? Nothing! I've never spoken to Rick Ross since that day. Actually, no, he commented. So he's in the comment. With Rick Ross, it's so crazy because you really feel like you're seen by him. Like when he talks to you, it's like you're the only person in the room. So yeah, no, he's actually an amazing human being. I love that you show you your natural beauty. Yeah. Do you even remember this day? What you were doing? I, re I remember this day. Um, I think it was, it was in a lockdown. And this is when I was like, I need to do content. I need to do content. I need to do makeup. I need to do makeup. And I think I just got so stressed and overdoing all of it. I was like, I'm just going to post a picture of my face. Like, this is me. We're in lockdown right now. Embrace the natural beauty and I'll put it up. You find you get more likes that way or is it the same? The, everyone always loves me dressing up. So the moment I'm beat to the gods, dressed to the nines they're like yeah 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 or if i'm in a bikini they're like yeah 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 i feel like natural beauty it's more like the girls like oh my gosh you look so gorgeous and da, 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 da. so but yeah. yeah it's nice that kind of unveiling of seeing the natural skin and come on baby the skin <laughs> i do love this shot mm. what shoot was that for so this shoot i was working with fire sean um, he is one of my favorite photographers ever. And I think he really put me onto like the whole modeling game, like around that time. I think it was just a content day, literally just a content day, but any day with buyers is literally fire. <laughs> so how did you land on the styling? So we usually, when it's styling, we usually bounce off each other. He'll send me like pictures or concepts of what he wants to achieve and also what I want to achieve. And I think it was more like sexy cool. That's what we were going for, and I think we really nailed it. And the braided wig, did you do that? Did you have a stylist on the door? That was a Venna James hairdo, my hairdresser, the one that is not my man's. <laughs> but um, yeah, and it's not a wig, it's, it's literally just amazing braids. And the thing with me is, as much as I love to change my hair, I don't like to do it myself. So when I have braids in, it just gives me a break <laughs> to just be like, okay, now you're free. <laughs> 